In this video, I'm going to show you how to follow up a 2 by 3 or greater between subjects factorial ANOVA with a series of smaller 2 by 2s in order to evaluate where the interaction has taken place in your data. In this example, it's the game type by sex interaction that was observed to be significant here, 0 0.049, just barely so. And when you look at the bar chart with the means, we're not sure looking at this where precisely the interaction is taking place. There's a difference between violent male and female that equals to something looking pretty big. And it looks like it might be statistically significantly different than the nonviolent difference here, which is really quite small. And then we have a control group difference over here that, again, might be significantly different than the difference in nonviolent means between males and females. And then finally, we have the difference between the control group and the violent video game playing group. Is there a difference in the magnitude of the difference between the means in that case? We don't know. So we need to do a series of two by twos isolating each of the conditions. So violent and nonviolent, violent control group, and nonviolent and control group. So we have to do a series of two by two factorial ANOVAs to see where a significant interaction takes place. So how can you do that? Well, one option is to select cases in SPSS. So if we look at the data file, we need to select game types. So we want to isolate, in the first instance, game type 1 and game type 2. So we've got here values violent versus nonviolent. I want to be able to isolate that so that I can produce this 2 by 2 ANOVA for which I got an F value of 3.55 and not quite significant, p equal 0 0.070. I need to do all three of these 2 by 2s. I'll show you how to do that. Click on Data, Select Cases, If Condition Satisfied, click If, and then put Game Type into this box and say less than 3. So it's going to select game type groups that have a value of 1 or 2. And that's the two groups I'm interested in here. So if I click OK, what happens is, is that the data file has been changed in such a way that there's a cross on each of these rows. So it's only going to look at game type group 1 and game group 2, which I know is violent and nonviolent. And that's what I want because I want to reproduce this thing that I produced in the textbook, violent versus nonviolent. So from there, all I have to do is just a regular 2 by 2 factorial ANOVA, put punishment in there, or just make sure it's there. If you did the 2 by 3, it'll still be there, and fix factors. And I might click on options to get descriptives and effect size and homogeneity tests. Click continue, click OK. And here I get the game type by sex interaction, which is not statistically significant, 0 0.070. And that's where I got the results from SPSS and inputted them here, p equal 0 0.070. Something I'll point out is that these data are slightly different than the data I analyzed for the 2 by 2 earlier in the chapter. Recall that the sample sizes were unequal in that case, and I changed it so that they are equal and not have to deal with the problem of heterogeneity of variances. And that's had an impact on the results such that there's no longer a difference between the violent and nonviolent groups with respect to the interaction. So the magnitude of the difference here between males and females was not observed to be statistically significantly different than the small difference here. It just wasn't quite significant. So the interaction that I observed in the 2 by 3 over here, which was significant with an f of 3.248, I would not say that it's happening between the violent and nonviolent levels. So then I would move it to a next, le uh, next step. I'd go violent control group. What about there? Well, I know already it's not going to be a significant interaction. In fact, you can look at the means. They're very similar in magnitude. So the difference between males and females here and the difference between males and females here, it looks about the same. There's a little bit of a difference. It won't be found to be significant, but I'll show you how I did that. So that's violent and control group. So now I need to isolate. I need to get SPSS to isolate those two. So violent and control group 1 and 3. So data, select cases, 
if game type equals one, and here's an important operator, or game type equal three. So at that bar in the middle, it's telling SPSS select game type one or game type three, and it will do so in such a way that I exclude game type two. Now you can see the rows here, they've been crossed off, and that's only for the groups that are labeled with two, because one and three is, is now open. And if I do the analysis, I now get the ANOVA, the two by two ANOVA, game type by sex interaction, P equal 0.875, and that's where I inputted that over here. Again, no interaction taking place here. That leaves only this case here, nonviolent versus control group. And that actually was observed to be statistically significant. So that interaction that I obtained in the 2 by 3 is due from a statistical significance perspective to this third comparison that I'm doing in the 2 by 2. So how did I do that? Nonviolent versus control group? Well, I go into data, select cases, and now I need to, I could press game type equal 2 or game type equal 3. Continue and OK. And just double check that that happened. Yep, game type 1 has been blocked off and 2 and 3 are now free. And click on general linear model, univariate, and here is that F value of 10.87 with 1 and 28 degrees of freedom is statistically significant 0 0.003. So going back to this first graph that I had, the 2 by 3 presenting all the means, I'm pretty much left with only being able to suggest that the interaction is taking place because of this portion of the design of the study. It's really the magnitude of the difference between the control group and the nonviolent group that an interaction arose in these data. So that's how you split data to conduct a series of two by twos to decompose a two by three between subjects ANOVA. If you had a larger design, you would still just do a whole bunch of two by twos because that's the smallest level of analysis you can do in order to evaluate the possibility of an interaction.